What's going on guys, Blender Bench here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to go about creating eyebrows inside of Blender. And this method can also be used to create things like mustache, um, beard, and also clothing. And if you guys want access to the project files, you can find it on my Patreon, link in the description, and let's get into it. All right guys, so once you have your model complete and you wanna start adding things like eyebrows, mustache, beard, etc., first you wanna press Shift A, go to Mesh, Plane, once you have your plane in the 3D viewport, you can just hit tab to enter edit mode. And what I like to do is just hit delete and delete faces, which will inadvertently delete the vertices and edges as well. And once you have that done, we can just go up to the top and go to this magnet icon, which is the magnet for snapping, toggle that on. And just to the right of that, you wanna hit the drop down menu and go to face. And then it will give you an option so you can check on project individual elements. Once that's complete, you want to go to this wrench icon to the right and then go to add modifiers. And we're just going to go down and add a shrink wrap. And this will allow us to um, draw vertices onto the mesh. So where it says target, select the eyedrop tool. You want to just select your character or face. And then now you can see in the target now it, it has that there insinuating that it's now working the way it should. So where it says snap mode, we could change it from on surface to above surface so we can see it on top of the model. And offset, I usually like to change this to 0 0.01 so I can actually see it a little bit off the surface. And um, I like to toggle this off so I don't see it twice in the viewport. And this will make sense later on. I'll, I'll caveat on this so you guys can see what it's actually doing. And let's add another modifier to this. Let's add a mirror modifier so it mirrors it symmetrically on the opposite end. Just to ensure um, we have the right axes where it's mirroring, we want to just select the eyedrop tool. And as long as your model is symmetrical, you can just select that. And if you're working on a mustache or beard, you want to have clipping on. So I'll just toggle it on since it's not going to affect the eyebrow since it's actually separated and won't merge in the center. So once you have this done, you want to go to vertice mode, and that's here. So if you're naturally uh, in edge mode, you want to just pick vertices. And you can also use hotkeys to cycle through these by pressing 1, 2, or 3 on the keyboard. And that's not to mistake the numbers on the number pad, but instead the keyboard. So go to vertice, and to begin doing this, what you want to do is hold down control and right click to draw your first vertice. And let's just middle mouse scroll in to zoom in on this and once you have your first vertice here you can just continue to hold down control right click to draw another vertice while holding down control you can just continue right clicking and once you have a square drawn out in vertices what you want to do is press the number two to go to edge mode or you can go to the top left corner and select edge mode here and select one edge hold shift select another edge and just hit F and what that will do is fill the vertices with a face. Now that we're still in edge mode, we can select this edge here, and then we can just hold down control, right click to draw another face. And you can just um, continue holding down control, right clicking to draw more um, faces. And I can draw one more if need be. Now, to move these vertices around, you can go to vertice mode here. You can select any one of these vertices, hit G, and you can move it and shape it out the way you want to shape it to get that nice eyebrow shape. And notice it sticks to the model, and that's what the shrink wrap does to it. And earlier I said I was going to go back to showing you guys what this icon did. So if I toggle this off, you'll see it's hard to see where the vertices are. And that's due to the fact that we are in edit mode. So just toggle this um, back off. And let's continue moving these vertices around the way we want to. So I'll shave it around like something like this. And I'm just hitting, I'm just selecting the vertices, hitting G. And then G is the shortcut for grab. I'm just shaping this how I want it to look. 
And once you're satisfied with the result and you want to call it done, um, we want to add a couple more modifiers to this. We need some thickness that we want to add and we need to add some more edge loops. So first thing we want to do is go to add modifier and let's go to solidify. And you see how if you rotate around, you can see the thickness of this. And once you go to solidify, you see thickness, you can adjust it here. And if you hold down shift, you can incrementally move this. So once you're satisfied with the thickness, I'll just make them extra thick for now. We can leave that there. And um, once you wanna start applying this, you can just go to the shrink wrap and you wanna apply the shrink wrap first. So let's go from edit mode to object mode. Select this drop down, go to apply. And once we apply that, now we can um, apply the solidify. We're going to leave the mirror on for now. So just select A to apply. And we can hit tab to enter edit mode once again. And what I want to do is add some edge loops to this. So I'll press Control R and select between this area, then I can move it with the mouse dragging left and right. Control R, repeat the process, but slide an edge over here. Press Control R once again, and now we'll go up and down. Control R, we'll do the same thing once again. And once you're done with that, we can hit tab to go back to object mode and let's just add a subdivision surface to it. So once you have the subdivision surface, you can see how it looks. You can add more subdivisions if need be, but I think we're fine with one. I don't want it to be too sharp. And then also we can right click and go to shade smooth. And once you have this done, now we want to add some material to it and what I like to do and notice what mode I'm in right now. I'm not in the shading mode. I'm in the material preview mode, which is EV, right? So this is shading mode. I want to be here. So go to this material icon here and then go to new and we can choose a base color and I want the base color. And if you already have a material, you can definitely just hit this drop down here and just select a material. But if you didn't have this option here, right, you can just hit new, go to base color and choose whatever color you want. But since I already have one, I'll just select this drop down here and choose this. So hopefully this uh, helped you guys out in some way. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up, comment, if it helped you out and please give it a share because it helps the channel grow and I'll catch you guys in the next video.